just FPV. Hello, friends of the flying hobby. Today's the day. I'm a bit nervous. We will do the Ripper built V2 Maiden. Just got a sat fix not 10 seconds ago. And. Well. Nervous. Nervous. No much speech today. No greetings. No uh, anything. Just flying. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope it's fine. I find INA 4.1 strange. Perhaps it is me, but um, I've been flying up for some 20 minutes perhaps in several attempts. And my observation is uh, it was totally untuned and over, over um, set up in regards to roll and pitch rate. So oh, I decided to do something like auto tune and began to do my moves. and. Well, that didn't end so up so good, because um, what it basically did was raising the FF value to 250 and 255. <sighs> then I tried to set up to another rate profile and tried again, and it just ignored it and was in the same profile as before with the same issues. So um, stabilized flight wasn't possible. RTH would be a fatal <laughs> attempt to land, and so I took it home manually. No problems after all. What I'm really, really, really surprised of is the motor. Excuse my blanding eyes, I'm standing in the sun. The motor is just incredible. With the 1650 kVs and the six inch props, you can pull 100% throttle and just give it 10 and a half amps. What? <laughs> On a six inch. And um, this elevates uh, speed up to about 100, 120 kilometers an hour. No problem at all. 
cruising, two amps. Oh, the looks. I will try to put a seven inch prop on it and do it over and then we'll see where we end up with that. Otherwise, I got another little gem for the Ripper part two, uh, build two, and uh, that could even speed the thing up. Anyways, that's it for now. I gotta tweak those unup settings and find out what's wrong. observations it flies awesomely well with the motor got it swinging a six inch prop you get 10.5 amps at top speed of 120 kilometers an hour that's amazing that's all small nothing what isn't that amazing is the tuning I don't know what Ida 4.1 did there but I will have to fix out and fiddle those rates in manually I'm super amazed because it's alive Although it took a beating at the first launch due to the high rates which are set up. This is insane. Who would set this up at, as a 200 degrees per second roll rate? So I was fluttering and then went down. That is, I guess you saw that. Most exciting question. Am I happy with this? Am I happy with that plane? Yes, man. I am. I am. And I will put the 7 inch prop on it and we'll have to tune it again. On. Telemetry well, this is round two. I've just uh, changed uh, some settings on the flight on the, on the wing itself. <laughs> Aside of, I've changed the prop to uh, being a uh, seven inch even now. I don't know where that is, but well, yeah. 7 inch. <laughs> Let's see how this works out. Okay, this turned not that good out as expected. Uh, mounting a 7 inch prop on the 1650 KV2203.5 motor uh, doesn't make sense. The motor won't drive it the way you need it. So you get a higher uh, consumption and not that much speed. The only difference is uh, it sounds pretty cool. <laughs> and you can reach uh, 75 kilometers an hour with uh, normal. Um, normal 30% throttle. That's about two or three amps. That's okay, but there's no power in the end and we want it to be a power cruiser. So next option is install a new motor, make it horrible, 
good and getting up in the air again. So that's it for now. We will get back to the office again. Again, I would like to thank you for watching this episode as it means pretty much to me that you are following me and you are watching my stuff. So if you like the one with the Ripper or the T1 Ranger, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment in the message to know so I can know what you want to know and I can get back to you. Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That would be awesome.